Welcome back to Webion Systems. I'm Abhishek Patel, and in this video, I will demonstrate you the different ways to run the scenario as well as feature file. Okay, that is through UI as well as through command window. Okay, let me delete these logs. Okay, so the first way is just right click on the feature file that you have created, and when you hover over this run it will open this sub menu and here as you can see either you can run all the scenarios within the within the feature file or you can run the selected scenarios okay so this file has a two scenarios okay so either you can run the scenario of this, your desire or you can run the feature file the whole feature file which consists of all the scenarios okay so this is the one way of running the feature file that is you just right click on a feature file and run the whole feature file by running this option that is run all scenarios or you can choose the scenarios that you want to run okay now in the last video our previous video i explained you about the tags okay so if you want to run a scenario based on the tags then you have to right click on the project and now when you hover your mouse on run it will expand this menu with the options to run the scenarios with the specific tag name okay so i have this scenario with the tag name regression there are many scenarios with the tag name regression which are spread across many feature files so if i choose to run this then it will run all the scenarios with the tag name regression across all the feature files okay and also let's say you have a feature and it has a tag sign in okay then you can run that individual feature which has a tag name sign in okay same goes with the smoke and all so if you can recall in the previous video i we have seen there was a let me go through so it will give you an idea so in the previous video we have seen this scenario this was the data driven test which would take the data from example 1 and example 2 okay so here i have given the tag ex1 and ex2 and if i want to run this data driven scenario with the tag ex2 data then just i'm going to right click on the project and run and here you will see it's a tag ex2 so when i click on this then it will run that scenario with the data that is within the ex uh, example 2 okay so the scenario ran with the data which was sitting under the example 2 tag okay or the example 2 okay so this is the another way so we have seen the first way is either you can run the scenario one by one by selecting it from here or you can just go to the project and find the tag and you can run that tag and that tag and all the scenarios that belongs to that tag will run okay the another way is when you double click on let me delete this one first okay so the third way is when you double click on this project it will open up this pan here on the right side now inside this test item tab you can create a new test item just right click and new test item and here inside this execution entity column click on this ellipsis button which will bring you up this window and here you can select the tag name that you would like to run so all the scenarios that comes under that tag will run for instance i want to run all the scenarios which has a tag smoke then i'm going to select this and click on ok ok and control s that will save this so now if i run this project it will run all the scenarios which comes under the tag smoke ok so i'm right click and run bdd project and this will run all the scenarios which comes under the tag smoke so execution started
And here, as you can see, the couple of scenarios were ran. One is valid login and the another one is test tag feature of PDD in test complete. Okay. So if you, if I go back to this feature file, you will see this one scenario that has a tag smoke is this one. And the name of the scenario is valid login, which ran valid login. And then another one is test tag feature of BDD in test complete. And it's not here, it's here. And it is here. Okay, test tag feature of BDD in test complete. So in short, when you run a tag, it will look for the scenarios with that tag across all the feature files in your project and will execute it one by one. Okay. So this is the method and you can have uh, multiple project items for example I can have this regression as well okay so in future when your manager asks you to run smoke test then you can uncheck the regression one and run the project okay and this will execute all the scenarios with the tag smoke and uh, in case if your manager asks the otherwise that is you want to run all the regression tests then you are going to check this test item which has a tag regression so all the scenarios under the tag regression will be executed upon executing the project leaving behind this scenario which has the tag smoke since we have unchecked it okay now another way is let me create one more test item and here you can select the tag expression now what is tag expression consider a scenario that you have an application with the login and sign up feature okay and those couple of features are also part of smoke as well as regression tag but now your manager or someone asks you to execute only test related to the login as well as sign up feature then you want to run the test with only two tags that is one is login tag and one is sign up tag but you want to leave rest of the tags tags as it is okay for that you are going to use expression value okay so you, for that you are going to use tag expression so once you select the tags expression here click on this ellipsis button of this parameter column and here you can specify the tag expression let me execute one test that will help you you know like smoke and or let's say or or let's say and smoke and so this so here we are telling that run the scenario which has the tag smoke and regression okay let's run this and see what we get as the outcome So all the scenarios with the tag smoke and regression are started to execute and here is the end result and here as you can see we have a couple of scenarios which has the tag smoke and regression so let's check here so here we have a smoke and regression and here we have a smoke and regression okay so this is how it works okay and if you can also have smoke or regression okay so we have seen the three ways one is running through this okay through the feature file one is creating the test item here and again here we have seen creating the tag expression the last way is running through the command line you may need this if you are going to run your feature files through any CI tool or any automated tool okay so first thing first you have to provide the path to the test complete executable so which is generally lying in this folder that is program file 86 smart bed test complete 14 and bin okay once you are here go ahead and type test complete dot exe and inside this double inverted comma specify the name of the project which contains the feature file that you want to run okay so here as you can see the my project name is he is bdd project.pjs and this is the location of my project which i have provided over here 
followed by slash tags is to and inside this inverted comma name of the tag that you want to run and slash run okay As you can just see the execution started. And here we have the complete test result. Okay, so I hope you got an idea how to execute the test with the different ways, okay, one from UI and command pro. So this is it in this video. So see you next time.